Nomadic City. My name is Trevor. Are you curious about the nomadic lifestyle? Well, I have been living on the road for the last six months, exploring places, trying to enjoy the little things. And I want to take you guys with me. I am in Kingman, Arizona at the moment. I'm going to cruise over to Oatman, Arizona, where I will hopefully see some live donkeys, walk through a ghost town. I am planning to go to a ranch to ride some horses and see some baby goats maybe that would be really cool I'm planning on going to some labyrinths i have some family nearby which i'm excited to see again but i will quit yapping roll intro Don't forget your snacks. You get cranky. You guys ready to go check out Oatman? Let's go. Hey, I wanted to give a big shout out to my Patreon supporters. Your support means everything to me. And if you are curious about becoming a Patreon, I have a link down in the description. You get shout outs on my videos and you get behind the scenes content. Let's get back to the video. That's yeah, about 33 miles, so about 55 minutes. So there's gonna be a lot of twisties, I bet. We're skipping in and out. We got adventures to do. So this is my first time on Route 66. I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see some donkeys around here. Uh, I'm not sure where or when. I'm so excited for it. I can't believe I'm going to Oatman. I've been wanting to do this for so long. We're getting so close. Dang, look at that view. Wow. Wow. The view is incredible. This this road is very cool. Very neat. Tight turns. That's a big drop off right there. So we got to be careful. We don't want to go fast though because donkeys could be around a corner, you know. To be honest, I was a little bit intimidated by this one, just because he was missing an eye, and uh, he was an outcast. But he still deserves some love. I gotta go. We have made it through Route 66 to Oatman. Oh, there are donkeys right there. And there was donkeys everywhere. So if you come here, you're definitely going to see them. The town was, seemed to be pretty busy. Donkeys on every corner getting food from people. Old classic cars. This town had a nice rustic feel to it. This donkey was scratching his neck on that trash can. I thought that was hilarious. Time to pull over, try to avoid some donkey poop, and go take a little stroll through town. More wood paneling sidewalks. This young lady's name is April, and she was curious one. Oh, April, what's in the store? <laughs> she likes to stand in the doorway. She just wanted to steal the candy. I love the names of some of these stores too. <laughs> But it was time to buy a bag of food and feed the donkeys. Is that good? Yeah. And I learned that these are actually wild burrows. But there was more to check out than just wild burrows. 
you could just walk through and find all kinds of interesting things you weren't expecting. Kind of like this old mine tunnel. Or an old coffin. Hasta luego, kids. What a neat little town, dude. There's actually a freaking car off the cliff right here. Look at this. Look at the car right up in the cliff here. That's cool. I was just talking with a guy named Darren in Oatman, and he told me to go up to a place called the Cool Springs right up the road here. I guess it's the gas station that they base uh, the movie cars off of. So I'm going to go check it out. That'd be kind of cool. I guess this is the site of where they got their inspiration for the movie Cars for Radiator Springs. Which was really interesting. I didn't know anything about it. I saw a live scorpion. I met this sweet lady named Deb. She let me put a sticker on the door. And she told me some facts. Like this bush is called the wait a minute bush. Because it hooks on you. So you gotta pull yourself off. Definitely a cool place to look back on. Alright, we are on the road again, driving through Kingman here to get to Golden Valley where I will be staying at a ranch. Hopefully I'll be able to do some horse riding here, see some baby goats. A big shout out to my last hosts I stayed at, Keith and Jamie. Thank you so much for the hospitality, the encouragement, and uh, you guys mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. So Keith and Jamie wanted to buy my next meal. So I stopped in in and out finally to treat myself. Thank you guys for buying this today for me. I ended up buying, getting some protein style double doubles. Lettuce wrapped, I've never had that before. Thought I'd give it a try today. Mmm, so good. Mmm. Look at that. Mm. I'm not gonna lie to you, I think the lettuce wrap is my favorite now. Oh my goodness. Look at the babies. Are those your babies? Be. <laughs> huh? Oh my goodness. Look at the babies. They're so cute and little. Look at that brotherly tussling. It was so cute. But they were also very curious little ones. But it's time to cowboy up. So this is the horse I'm going to be riding. Her name is Tizzy. She's a runner, she's a track star. I quickly learned that this wasn't going to be no normal uh, ride along. This is at an actual lesson. I was kind of nervous at first, but my instructor seemed to be pretty knowledgeable and his name was Tim. Walk, walk. I was not as good as a rider as I thought I'd be. Good job, Tizzy. This was a balance exercise. But then I moved up to the big leagues and I got to go to the big den. And this is where I really learned how to steer. And we actually galloped too, which was really cool. The sunset was insane out here. My biggest issue I was having was steering. It was really hard to get the technique down on that. But after a while, me and Tizzy started figuring things out together. Going around the good, barrels. Good, good, that's good. But I still have lots to learn.
and I finally started trotting around some of the barrels, which was actually really fun and intimidating. And Tizzy really got on it here. But I had a great experience on this lesson. Took Tizzy to the barn, combed her out, gave her a snack, and then I was ready for bed. Hey, baby. We are just gonna move on today. New location, I'm gonna go stay with my family about 20 miles more into Golden Valley. Tomorrow, I'm gonna take the bike off and ride over to the Laughlin Labyrinth, which I think will be kind of cool to look at. I'll bring my drone and do some cool shots, hopefully. But yeah, it's gonna be kind of a mellow day for me, but on the drive there, we'll see what we run into. I have a very strange obsession with these inflatable dudes. So I have to stop and dance with them. I just can't help myself. taking off to the Labyrinth. See you guys? <laughs> That's my great uncle David. So we just had some biscuits and gravy that my great aunt Linda makes. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Yeah, big shout out to them for letting me stay there for breakfast. But uh, we're taking off to the Labyrinth now. Very chilly around here. My camper was 53 degrees this morning. Hello, beautiful. Hi. It's freaking cold. Holy crap. I thought I was in Arizona. I thought it'd be freaking hot. This is freezing. Wow, these are really cool. I guess there's a rock called the Finger Rock. And it looks like somebody's flipping you off. They told me about it. Oh, look, it is right there. It does look like somebody's flipping you off. Watch your profanity. <laughs> yeah, the finger rock. It's hilarious. are so bad maybe up on the hill here huh I picked a good day to fly the drone
really cool little spot to walk around, check out the Labrys. I'm just going to start heading home. That was cool to explore. Might look at a trail to go hike, but we'll see if I'm up for it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, don't fall. Okay, there's Davis Dam right there. Dude, look at the security car. <laughs> oh, dude, that is so funny. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you for watching my little adventure week. I had a blast. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button because it really helps my channel to grow. And subscribe if you want to. Stay out of trouble. And we'll see you on the next one.